The news first hit me via messages on Twitter about a, an explosion of some kind or a, an accident in Manchester. I started to honestly think, this is it. July the 7th, 2005 is the day that I die. We were walking across this bridge. One of my mates just sort of shouted, Travis, look up. It was only later that I was told that as she was killed, the person shouted, Britain first. One of the most difficult things I've ever had to do was to sit my little boy down and tell him what happened to his daddy. Survivors Against Terror is going to work to try and help educate the public about how they can help, but at its heart, it will be trying to make sure that we don't just respond to terror, but we get ahead of it. I've seen the real damage that occurs to communities and people, and I don't think that the explosion is where the damage ends in these things. The first step to um, tackling this sort of thing should be to include people who've been involved in them because there's always going to be a unique perspective available there. We, as a group, are, are quite diverse ethnically, politically, um, age-wise. What better way to illustrate that extremism and terrorism isn't picky about who it affects? These terrorists have an aim. Unfortunately, their aim is to hurt and kill, and they will do it to anyone. They've taken so much from so many people but there's so many more that can stand up and stand together.